pop in and do another one of these videos for you guys. It's been a little while since I've done a what I eat in a day um, type video. I've also been getting a lot of questions about my meal prep and I've always promised you guys that I was going to shoot some sort of meal prep type video for you guys. Just so you guys kind of know what I do to get ready for the entire week and how I prepare myself so that I'm not uh, overindulging in things that I should not indulge in throughout the course of the week. And especially now that my life has significantly changed since we've had the kids and they are now full on full fledged toddlers. Things have been a lot more hectic. It's a little crazier my way. It's also harder to get my eats in and so I have to plan ahead in order for me to stay on track, all right? So, here's the deal. I wanted to pop in and do a what I eat in a day video, which gives you an idea of the snacks that I eat, some of the meals that I eat and that type of thing. In addition to the fact that I am also gonna take you guys out shopping with me when I go and get the items that I typically will have for my, uh, my meal preps, okay? And so you'll see some of that footage later on in the video, along with some other things that might help you guys along the way if you guys are looking for any kind of um, help or influence to try to hit your fitness goals, okay? And if you guys have any questions or whatever, feel free to leave those down below and I will answer them in a future video, okay? That being said, um, let me give you guys a quick backgrounder for those of you guys that may or may not know, okay? Your girl is a new mom of twin babies. I have a boy and a girl. They're the most amazing, most beautiful things on the damn planet. Their names are Jackson and Jayla, and if you guys want to meet them, because they're down for naps right now, if you guys want to meet them, you can go to my vlog channel, my daily vlog channel, The Social at Life TV. I will leave it right here. It's also in the description box down below, and I will also iCard it up above if you guys want to formally meet them and just kind of see what my day-to-day -day life is like with being a new twin mom, new twin parents, because the hubby is here and is a part of that channel as well, and all the craziness that happens in between. So definitely make sure to check out my daily vlog channel if you guys want to check that out, all right? There's also a lot that's shown on that channel uh, that shows my fitness routines, my workouts, and all of that type of stuff because I daily vlog there. So health and fitness is very much a part of my day-to-day -day routine. So you guys get to see my workouts on a day-to-day -day basis, the things we eat on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys get to see all of that on my daily vlog channel as well, okay? So you'll see that more consistently there. But this is just to kind of give you a full-on quick snapshot of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis so I can keep myself on track, okay? This is probably the most serious that I have ever been about staying on top of things and just being in the gym, working out, staying on top of what I eat, what I put in my body on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? And you guys know, if you guys have been longtime followers of mine, we have all been always been about team transformation, which has always been our fitness movement since years ago, right? You guys have seen us do all of that, but more so now than ever after having my babies was a huge reason that I stuck to things and really got myself on track. And I'm actually smaller now than I was before I had my kids, BK, before kids, okay? which is amazing. I'm also leaner than I've ever been. I am in the best shape of my life. And this is after having twin babies, okay? So as you guys already know, if you followed me for a while, you know that I don't just focus on the number that is on the scale, okay? That's not what determines whether I'm healthy or not. I'm looking at several different things. You guys know I want to try to lean out. I want to gain more muscle and lose fat, okay? So there's so many different factors that play a part in that. So I've never been focused on the number per se that is on the scale for me, okay? Because there are so many other factors that help determine just how healthy you are, okay? And with all of that being said, you guys know that I have had this particular item in my possession for a long as fuck ass time, and it's probably been the, one of the most amazing things that I've used throughout this entire process of losing my weight and just keeping my myself all the way together and just maintaining my fitness, okay? And it's this bad boy right here, bam! Okay, now if you guys have followed me for a while, you guys already know what this is. You guys have seen this in many of my videos. I actually, this is a new one that was sent to me, but I have owned one of these for well over a year, okay? And this is the Digital Body Analyzer by Vanity Planet, okay? You guys know how much I absolutely love this thing. I use this thing religiously, okay? I've shown this to you guys before. It's probably been well over a year since I've actually done a video on this, but you guys see it all the time on my daily vlog channel. You've seen me do it when we do weigh-ins with my husband and myself. You guys have seen it in previous videos here when I've done other what I eat in a day videos, etc, etc. All right. And they sent me another one for me to show this to you guys because it is that freaking amazing. So let me tell you what's amazing about this bad boy. At the 
opposed to most other scales that you are probably accustomed to. This digital body analyzer not only shows you your weight, but it also showcases other things as well, okay? It not only gives you your weight, okay, but it tracks bone density, water weight, as well as gives you your BMI. The other thing that's amazing about this scale is the fact that you can actually have several users on the scale up to eight, okay? That means that I have my own settings on the scale, okay, and it saves those settings. You can set it up. It's super duper easy to set up, okay? And Juice has also got his own user and all of that here on the scale as well. So anytime he gets on the scale, he goes to his user, he goes ahead and gets on there and does what he has to do and it doesn't affect my user, okay? My, my, my account information here on the scale, okay? Super duper easy to set up, okay? Now as you guys can see here, this is us showing you guys our scale, okay? This is the new one as you guys can see, but you guys know I have one already that we use on a frequent basis, which is the one you guys also see above the new one, okay? Just so y'all know it's real. It's always in our bathroom. That's where we always do our weigh-ins when we weigh in and it's bomb, okay? So we're setting up the scale right now as you guys can see. Super duper easy to set up, you guys. You'll just hit the set button and basically go through the prompts. You'll determine and let that the scale know whether you're male or female, whether you're active or inactive, okay? Then you'll go through, put your height in there, your age, etc., etc. As you guys can see, Juice is just going through the motions. He's not putting real settings in there, okay? But it's just to give you guys an idea of just how easy it is to set up. It takes all of 5.2 seconds. It's the fastest thing ever. The batteries come in the box. So you just put the batteries in and you're good to go. So you don't have to get batteries for the scale or anything. And then you're good to go. It goes to zero. You get on with no socks and you weigh and you're done. It's easy. After that, as you guys can see on the screen, what do you see? Not just the weight, but you also see everything else. So it gives you everything, your BMI, water density, bone density, everything, your water weight, all of it is on this scale. It's amazeballs, okay? So that is the scale that we've been using for well over a year. I'm so happy they sent me another one because look, you can't have enough of these in this house because these are just great, okay? So this I can actually just have and keep just in case the other one goes defunct, okay? So you already know your girl always has a hookup on the shit, okay? When she gets it too, all right? So here's the deal. Check out the link at the top of the description box, all right? Because here's the deal. This scale is retail $125. But because you know I always like to give y'all some sort of coupon savings, discount, something, all right? I'm gonna get you 60% off the scale, so it's only gonna be 50 bucks. You use the coupon code SANDY60, that's it. That'll take 60% off of the scale, and that way you can get one for yourself or your friends, your family with the holidays coming up. There's so many things you can do with this. I promise you guys, literally, we have had this scale for well over a year, okay? You can go back through my videos and see it's the exact same scale, and it has never failed us, all right? So make sure you guys check out the link at the top of the description box. Make sure you guys use the coupon code SANDY60. I'll put it right here for you guys to get one of these, or two, or three of these for yourself. So another thing that's been key and just, I mean, literally heaven sent in my day to day as far as trying to stay on top of things and making sure that I'm eating the right things and I'm not getting off track and not nibbling on stuff I'm not supposed to nibble on has been meal prep, okay? You guys hear me talk about meal prep all the time. I don't know that I've ever done a video here where I've showcased my entire meal prep process and if you guys want me to do a separate video specifically on that, I can totally do that, like recipes, that type of thing. Feel free to let me know, comment that down below. I'm more than happy to do it, but Meal prep is so beneficial. Now here's what I typically do. Meal prep is basically where you prepare your meals in advance. And what I typically do is I will measure out all of my meals and do all of that. They'll be in their meal prep containers and all of that and all in my fridge so that when it's time for me to go ahead and eat something, when the kiddos are down or when the kids are eating their meal, I can go ahead and take mine out of the fridge and just throw it in the microwave and nuke it real quick and eat it. Because it's very easy, especially now with the kids being toddlers and them running around everywhere and me having to tend to them, it's easy to forget get to eat or miss a meal and that's something that I really try to avoid doing okay so it's truly beneficial to just me staying on top of things throughout the course of the week and while I'm meal prepping for myself I typically meal prep for the kids as well okay so what I do on Sundays is I will just take a couple of hours, usually when the kids are down for a nap or when the hubby has the kids, I will go ahead and just do an entire meal prep. I'll cook all of my veggies, my meats, I'll cook all my um, my uh, my starches and all of that stuff all at one time in just different 
varieties and portions. So I'm going to go ahead and take you on my shopping excursion, right? And in this particular case, I went to Costco to get my items for my meal prep, and this was just this past week, so check it out. What's up, y'all? Okay, so you're gonna see me look like a hot ass. Yes. Okay, um, and that's to be expected, huh? I'm a mama, honey, and we have had a crazy last 48 hours. I've got a husband at home suffering with major allergies and he is on the struggle bus. And I also have my baby girl and boy are both home with the sniffles. They just caught a little bit of a cold. So juice attended to them and I am heading out or I headed out, I'm here. Okay, we here. We're at Costco, okay? And I'm about to just start looking for the items that I'm gonna need for meal prep. Um, and just kind of, you know, start planning for the week ahead. So that's what we're doing. I am a Sam's Club member as well as a Costco member. This is actually the very first time that I've really come to Costco for any kind of meal prep situation or grocery shopping situation. So y'all gonna be discovering this stuff right along with me. But this will kind of give you an idea of what I do for my meal prep and some of the things that I do for my meal prep um, to get prepared for the week so that I know that I'm on top of my stuff, that my meals are prepared because me being a mama, it's just, and the kids now, they're in full toddler swing and they're in, into everything. And in addition to the fact that they are so involved in all these different activities, if you guys wanna know about those, just check out our daily vlog channel, you'll see all of that. Like, my daughter's at dance, she does pet ballet and tap. Um, the kids are in gymnastics, they're in swim class. Um, they do a lot. There's a couple more activities that have just started that um, you guys will hear about too in the vlogs. But anyway, long story short, because I'm so busy, I don't want to get to a point where I'm like, I can't eat. You know what I'm saying? Like you skip eat, eating, you skip meals. That is the worst way uh, to rev up your metabolism. That in fact, skipping meals and all that will only slow down your metabolism, which there are people that have issues with losing weight because they're not eating enough. And there is such thing as doing that. So anyway, not going to preach your head off. Let's see what Costco has to offer. Okay, so one of the first things that I always go for while I'm at Sam's typically, but now Costco, if they have any available, is I typically go for uh, some rotisserie chicken. And the reason for that is because one, they're already cooked. Two, they're absolutely freaking delicious. The ones at Sam's are bomb. I haven't tried the ones here at Costco, but if they have any left, because typically they are gone. Everyone knows about them rotisseries. But so many of you guys on the vlog channel told me that the rotisseries here are bomb too. I'm gonna try out the rotisseries over here. So let me go, go ahead and show you guys. And this makes it a lot easier because I can feed myself, the husband, and the kiddos with this chicken. They love rotisserie chicken. And they're already cooked. All you have to do is just cut it up. And we freeze them sometimes and we'll use them for tacos and all kinds of stuff. So check it out. All right, y'all. So we are in the deli section at Costco. And these are what's left of the rotisserie. Typically, you gotta come when they first come out. When I go to Sam's, I know what time to go where I know they done put their rotisseries out, but this is my first time trying out the Costco rotisseries. <laughs> so we're gonna try them out and see how they taste. I'm pricky when it comes to what they look like. I want all the skin to be on it just because I just like the way that looks. I don't eat the skin, but I let my kids have some of the skin as well. So I'm just gonna pick up a couple of these because these are just easy peasy to have in the fridge, ready to go if you need something quick and easy to make for Din Din. Okay guys, so chicken breasts, right? And that's the beauty of Sam's and Costco. You can easily find value packs of the meats you typically eat. And these are boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So literally all I would have to do is clean them up and season them. So I'm gonna grab one of these as well. All right guys, there is a lot more variety as far as like the meats are concerned that are prepackaged in these like value sizes than there are at Sam's, or at least the Sam's that I go to. So I'm already seeing a lot of stuff that I am going to love having this membership. So ground turkey, they have this kind, right? And it comes like a little four pack. And then they also have this right here, which is another four pack, right? Of those, the butterball and butterball I love. The butterball ground turkey, I love, love, love. They have those. And of course you've got your regular whole chicken and they have chicken thighs and chicken breasts. And see, these are all like four packs, damn near. Or six, like the chicken, I think those are thighs. That's freaking awesome. Here's another thing that I've never tried. Y'all, Costco's already looking like it's killing Sam's, but spaghetti squash, okay? So I have a tendency to eat on the lower carb side, just generally speaking, and I get my carbs primarily from my shakes and my other supplementation, so this will come in handy. It's gluten-free, and it's also a lower carb option for any of you guys that are doing lower carb, but it's got a few servings, I wanna say. Let's just see, how many servings is in each of? Uh, Let's see, oh, it's just kind of by the ounces or whatever, but yeah, y'all, 
Yes, low carb, seven grams of carbs per serving. All right, you guys, just wanna show you guys what I've gotten so far. And you guys, Costco is the lick. No lie, no joke, take a look, okay? Some of this stuff I am getting from my mom because I'm actually headed to her house afterwards. So just giving you that heads up, but let me show you what I got specifically for meal prep, okay? First and foremost, rotisseries. I don't switch them out with new ones because they put a new batch out and I prefer the skin looking like this on rotisseries. Um, of course, I take the skin off and we eat the breast, but the rest of it my kids eat, okay? So we do that and there's four of those in there. And then I always do frozen broccoli. It's just easier for me. It doesn't go bad in my fridge because we are always on the go. Y'all know how it's been for us lately, okay? This is obviously not for us, okay? So not for meal prep. Although you can have the shrimp, okay? And then we've got our sweet kale salad. I'm gonna do that with some balsamic vinaigrette on the side. We've got hearts of romaine that I'm gonna use for my ground turkey tacos and I'll use them instead of tortillas for that meal, okay? So we do those. We have spaghetti squash right there. We have got quinoa salad already made, you guys, which is so phenomenal, right? I've got seasoned scrimps, which yes, I know, I could make them myself and season them myself, but I don't have as much time and I'm really loving the fact that Costco has so many prepped meals already. Some of this stuff, like I said, is for mama. This right here is ribeye for me to put in my freezer at a later date for a day where we're not dieting. <laughs> we've got chicken thighs, boneless skillness for the kids, and we've got the chicken breast and ground turkey down here and lemons to season our cod, because we have cod right here. So yeah, let's see what else we have. Oh yeah, and then we've got some peppers that have um, ground turkey in them as well. And that's what we have so far, that's it. And then avocado, of course avocado, because we eat that all the time. All right guys, so I am making some cod. Got this from my uh, meal prep run that I showed you guys earlier. And I've got some seasoning on the bottom, which I'm one of those people who I like my food to be seasoned. So I season the bottom of my parchment paper before I put the fish down, and then I season the top of the fish as well. I'm gonna coat this cod with this lime um, cilantro sauce. It is so freaking good. It was actually something that I had in my uh, flank steak that I got from Costco and so I'm using the same sauce to put on my fish because I just feel like it's going to be amazing on the cod. So I'm just going to coat it with it and here's what it looks like just so you guys can see it. Bam. So I'm just going to lightly coat it. Not lightly but you know what I mean. Coat it with this stuff and that's pretty much all the seasoning I'll need. I'm going to use something to make sure it's coated all the way too, but just so you guys have an idea of what I'm gonna season my fish with. So this is gonna go into the oven. I am preheating it now, so once it hits 400, I will stick this fish in there, okay? You can also get a little adventurous and add some lemons to the top, but I feel like it's gonna be just fine, plus I'm gonna end up picking the, the lemons off anyway. Or limes is another option that you can slice on top. I'm not trying to get too fancy smancy because I'm gonna actually cut these up to put them in my meal prep containers anyway. But I put this in the oven, 400 degrees, for 13 to 15 minutes. I just want y'all to see just how gorgeous this fish is. Oh my God, you guys. So I actually cooked it on 400 for exactly 15 minutes. I like it to be a little bit uh, on the, not darker side, but a little crispier. So I'm gonna put it in for another two so I don't overcook it, and that's it. Okay, so for whatever reason, I actually really have learned to love Brussels sprouts. So these last couple meal preps that I've been doing, I've always included some form of Brussels sprouts, and they're just really good for you, so keep it really, really simple. So I just have olive oil on them and just a light bit of seasoning, because obviously I gotta wash the salt, but I'm gonna put this in the oven for just a little bit and I gotta be careful, because the last time I made these, I almost burnt them. They still, they still tasted good, but I almost burnt them. Boom. Potatoes, again, just herbs for the seasonings. And uh, that's it, a little bit of olive oil and I'm about to put this in the oven too. All right. Here is my little side salad. So trying to just give myself a variety of different veggies. This is how you just don't get bored, right? And since the kids haven't gotten up yet, which I know they will be here any minute now, I'm just trying to get as many of the veggies done and then I'll do some of the meats when they finally get up. But this is white onions, cucumbers, and tomato. Boom, here we go. Here is my onion, tomato, and cucumber salad. We got some chicken going. So these bad boys are already cooked. Potatoes, 
and Brussels sprouts and then I'm gonna stick these in the oven. I'm meal prepping for the kids also, so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some spaghetti, meatballs, haven't done that in a while. And then this is gonna be their chicken as well. So yeah, this is my next little dish to put in the oven. Okay, so once all of my items are cooked, veggies, starches, as well as my meats are all cooked, I go ahead and I portion them out okay and I go ahead and I put them in my meal prep containers that's the portion of my meal prep that I did not get on camera but I will leave the link for the meal prep containers that I use down below you guys always ask me for those when I show them to you on my daily vlog channel so I will leave that down below they literally are the best containers ever and they come in two different types of meal prep containers one that have three sections and another that has two but they have come in so handy so check out the description box for those Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you guys what I typically eat on a day-to-day -day basis, and we'll just do a quick recap. That way you can see how meal prep comes in so handy. What's up, y'all? Okay, so you are catching me bright and early in the morning, all right? And I wanted to show you guys what I typically have for breakfast first thing, okay? So, you're gonna hear some toddler twins in the background, and they are what motivated me to really go hard in the paint, really go hard in the gym, and drop the weight that I have recently lost, okay? So, the first thing that I do after I get the kids settled with their stuff is I have a shake, okay? Now, if you guys don't know this already, I am an Herbalife distributor, okay? And I actually started using Herbalife products like three years ago, before kids, BK, okay? and kind of fell off and then started to in implement it into my diet when I wanted to add more carbs into my diet and I did that and then became an Herbalife distributor because I absolutely love the products, okay? So, with all of that being said, if you guys are wanting to try Herbalife out, make sure you guys check out the link at the top of the description box down below, okay? It's somewhere down in the description box. You can check it out for yourself. I also have a challenge going on right now where I have over 60 women that are trying to change their lifestyle and they're trying to hit their fitness goals. So, if you guys want to join our challenge, I have that down below as well. It's a 10 second survey that you fill out and then myself or my husband or both of us will follow up with you to get you going if you guys want to join our challenge, okay? So that's currently going on right now. Plenty of time to join. It's in the description box down below, okay? So the very first thing that I'm having for breakfast is my shake, okay? So I don't know if I've explained this earlier in the video or no, but I get most of my carbs from my shakes and then I have a tendency to be on the lower carb side for the remainder of my meals throughout the day, okay? My favorite flavor of our shakes are the, uh, the orange cream flavor shakes. This is Formula One, so we make our shakes with protein and Formula One, all right? And so I'm gonna do two scoops and this is my blenders in front of me. Two scoops of Formula One orange cream, it's the best flavor ever, but banana caramel is another favorite, and uh, cookies and cream is another favorite. Then I do one scoop of protein. I always recommend if you're gonna do protein to add to your shakes to get vanilla because it goes with every Formula One flavor. Then, next up is Prolessa, our fat burner. That's what I put in my shake every single morning and I will do one scoop of that. That's all you need per day. It's non-stimulating. It does not change the taste of your shake. It is what helps you get rid of all the fat on your belly, cellulite, all of that, all right? Cheers. Oh my God. I love orange cream. <laughs> Okay, just so you guys know kind of how the rest of my day typically goes, here is the cod that I made earlier and I'm having it with some broccoli for lunch. All right guys, I'm gonna have a quick mini snack and since I didn't have much fruit today, I was craving some strawberries and I got a really good batch this time. So, having some strawberries and just to add a little bit of protein to it, I am putting my beverage mix in there. This is in the flavor wild berry. It's literally just a protein based snack and all I do, and it's gonna look absolutely disgusting, but it tastes amazing, is I'm gonna take a scoop of that and legitimately just sprinkle it on my strawberries and mix that up. It is so good because it's already a wild berry flavor and then you got the strawberries, it adds a little sweetness to it and it's got protein so that's an added bonus too. All right guys, here are my strawberries with my protein on top and you probably really can't see it but it's pink and it tastes so good and then I'm having that along with two low fat hardly anything caramel rice cakes just to get some carbs in me. 
All right, we're about to have a quick gym session. So Juice and I and the kiddos are about to go, but before, I wanted to get a little bit of carbs in me to Mama. get me through my workout. Jayla loves the strawberries, so we're gonna go ahead and give her some. Here you go, sweet pea. Here you go, baby girl. And Jackson loves them too. He's over there munching on some, but we're doing some granola, strawberries, and vanilla Greek yogurt. And the one I'm using for my granola is Energy Granola by Cliff. And it's really good, it's cinnamon almond, but I love the fact that it has whole grains in it and it's gluten free and all of those things. Plant-based, none of those things matter as much for me as much as it's whole grain. So really, really good. There's actually almonds in it. I don't like the almonds, it's the only part I don't like. I don't like having almonds in my um, snack. So I took out the two almonds that fell in there. But other than that, oh my lord, my baby's reaching. That's my next meal. All right, you guys, so we are having some ground turkey stuffed peppers, okay? About to put these in the oven, and that's gonna be our din din tonight. All right, you guys, here is my dinner. Chicken breast, kale salad, I added some tomatoes to it, and my kids are hungry as well, and I'm gonna add some balsamic vinaigrette to the salad, and that's my dinner. So here is dinner from another night. So this is one of the rotisseries. This is actually one of the rotisseries that I got from my Costco trip. And I have that along with my spaghetti squash. Anywho, y'all, that's pretty much it. I try to keep things as simple as possible, but I'm very much a planner and I have to plan ahead. As you guys can see, you see you gotta start shooting as soon as they go down for a nap because as soon as you get close to being done, they tell you you finished, okay? So Jayla's just getting up, Juice is here, tending to the kiddos. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you guys like seeing these types of videos from me where I'm giving you guys a rundown of the things that I eat on a day to day, if you guys want more snack ideas or more, more full on meal ideas or whatever, I'm more than happy to do those. I love doing these types of videos. You guys know I love health and fitness. I love workout videos. There's more workout videos coming by the way. Make sure you guys check out the description box down below for everything that I mentioned, including this amazing scale. Again, it's Sandy 60 to get 60% off this scale. Do it, you will love it. It. It's the best thing ever and it will totally help you throughout this entire process. If you guys are wanting to get involved in our current challenge, you guys know you can absolutely do so. That link is also in the description box down below. All you do is fill out the survey. It takes all of 5.2 seconds. I follow up with you and I get you started, okay? Our ladies are absolutely amazing. They're doing phenomenal. For all of you guys that are watching, hey y'all! They have truly become true close family of ours. And it's been an amazing journey, okay? So if you guys wanna join us, just check it out down below. It'll say join our team transformation challenge, all right? And yeah, y'all, thumbs up the video while you're here. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.